I have two Columbia students over here. I have a question for them. Uh, why did the dinosaur die some 66 million years ago? And how can we avoid the same fate? How can we avoid the same fate? Why did they die and how can we avoid the same fate? Uh, sure seems, seems, seems to be an asteroid, but I'm not, a, I'm not an astrophysicist or a, a That's dinosaur right, asteroid, person. But how can we, uh, we avoid the same fate? Good luck. They were wrong. Dinosaurs died because they did not study physics. Welcome to physics. Next few minutes, I'm going to go over the syllabus, course contact. And I'm going to actually divide this course contact or syllabus uh, 10 sections, uh, explaining what we're going to be uh, doing next 10 months. Uh, so um, I'm going to start with bio. My name is Rashidul Berry. I'm a doctoral candidate here at Columbia University, sitting on a bench where Liu Zilad and Fermi used to sit down over here, thinking about Einstein equivalence square and uh, and that led them, that thinking led them to create the atomic bomb who is known as Manhattan Project. I'm also a physics teacher at Brooklyn Tech, one of the prestigious schools in the, not only in the United States but, but also whole world, uh, producing many, uh, many Nobel laureates including Arlo Allen Pangeus who, who won the Nobel Prize uh, maybe before I was born, maybe 1978 for discovering cosmic microwave background. So make sure you have a dream, you have a dream to become uh, the next are Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein or, uh, or Arno Allen Pangeus. Now let's talk about physics. Why physics? Why I want you to become next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein or Arno Allen Pangeus is because we don't want to die. We really don't want to die. Let's explain what I mean. 66 Let's take you 66 million years ago. So 66 million years ago, the continuity of dinosaurs, all you know about dinosaurs, so the continuity of dinosaurs um, had been, uh, had been uh, around for, um, for 160 million years. And uh, it seemed like it will never stop. It seemed like the dinosaur would live forever. It seemed like dinosaur would never die because they have been there 165 million years. We are talking about before 66 million years ago, before the, uh, before the death of dinosaurs. So they, they have been around 165 million years. Long time, human, uh, human uh, only been here 300,000 years. Uh, so dinosaurs have been here way more than, uh, way longer than us. Uh, and they were happy. Why they were happy? They were happy because loss of food. The art was warm. Uh, loss of food because uh, most of the art at that time was covered by forests. So loss of flowers, loss of trees. So they had loss of quality food. So they were happy until one day. Until one day, uh, something happened in the sky. They did not look. They did not look at the sky. If they did look at the sky, they would have noticed something. There was something all of a sudden appeared in the night sky and it was getting bigger and bigger as the night went by and it as it was approaching to the earth 62 times greater than the speed of sound it became bigger it appeared bigger and bigger and one day it was it was Wednesday just like tonight uh, today uh, it was very close to the earth and it appeared as big as Sun and it took only two seconds for the for the asteroid which was bigger than mount everest to pass through the space and hitting the uh, mexican ocean with 62 times more than the speed of sound and it vaporized within a fraction of a second the whole entire mount everest vaporized in a fraction of a second and and the radiation and the radiation went to all direction radially with the speed of light killing everything including dinosaurs in a fraction of a second dinosaurs die because they did not have insurance policy we will not die we will not die because we study physics and we will not die because we probably gonna have insurance policy. What is insurance policy? Insurance policy is, uh, is the policy that we need an Earth-like planet. If we do have Earth-like planet, 
then if we ever see asteroid just like 66 million years ago then we can send some of the human to that earth like planet that way the mankind will live forever so this is the main reason uh, I want you to study physics and I want you to become next Sir Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein if everyone in this classroom become next Sir Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein imagine Im imagine that the, the, the finding the next earth like planet would become a reality let's talk about the Google classroom now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use Google Classroom every single day so Google Classroom I'm gonna post the do now I'm gonna post the big idea and I'm gonna also post the exist link the do now and big idea I will be grading do now and big idea based on completion but exist slip is gonna be based on correctness make sure you sign up for Google Classroom I already send you the Google Classroom code now talk about assessment the grade will be consist of three things assessment would be 55 percent and then the assignment would be 25 percent and then the midterm would be 20 percent so 100 percent so assessment i'm going to divide assessment in two parts one is the quizzes and one is the exam the quiz would be exit sleep would be quiz so make sure you finish all the exit sleep before the bell ring if you Finish the exit slip after the bell ring, you will lose 10 points. I'll give you exam every single Friday without any exception. And the marking period one will end on November 4. So before the marking period one end, I'll give you five exams. Every marking period, I'll give you five exams. Marking period one, I'll give you five. Marking period two, I'll give you five. Marking period three, I'll give you five. And marking period four, I'll give you five. So until the end of May I'm gonna give you 20 exams five in each marking period so all together I'm gonna give you 20 exams multiple choice exam uh, will be consist of 20 problems and uh, I will be grading them however the short response you're gonna be grading them I call it peer grading is student learn better when they do peer grading so you're going to be learning uh, six topics six big topics we'll start with kinematics then dynamics then impulse and momentum then work and energy then electricity and magnetism and then waves so for the next two months we're going to be spending <laughs> kinematics which describe the motion and dynamics which explain the motion so dynamics and kinematics together also known as Newtonian mechanics you need a graphing calculator make sure you have a graphing calculator you need a protractor uh, you need graph paper you need a small ruler and you need a reference table these five things you need to be in every single class reasons physics lab I'm sure you're taking lab with a lab teacher make sure I know your lab teacher name you need to complete at least 30 labs in order to take the reasons physics June 2023 marking period end on November 4 2023 you need to complete at least seven lab in order to pass marking period one end of marking period two you need 15 end of marking period three you need 22 and end of marking period four you need 30. I'm a big fan of Lab Vygotsky. I really believe it's to learn when they work as a group. So I'm going to put you in a group. I'm going to divide the class in seven groups, four people or five people in a group. And as, as soon as you finish the do now, you're going to put four or five chairs together, right? And you're going to be start working as a group. And 10 minutes before the bell ring, you're going to put the chair back and take the exit step and this is what we're going to be doing next 10 months starting from tomorrow when i look at rostar i was thinking who among my students will become next einstein or sir isaac newton and i said to myself how about everyone and then i was thinking like who among you will um, uh, will win the win the nobel prize in physics and then i was thinking that 
how about everybody? Everybody here in this classroom win the Nobel Prize in Physics. That would be great. If this becomes your goal, then finding the next Earth-like planet would no longer remain impossible. Good luck.